Well, back to school can be exciting, but also a little bit overwhelming at times for students, parents, and teachers. Whether students forget to check their homework assignments or miss class due to illness, the students don't want to fall behind. And to show us how our cell phones can help us with that, Bridget Pinson from U.S. Cellular, tell us a little bit about what we can download on this bad boy to make sure that we are on our A game. Sure. So when we look at the school year season, there's multiple apps out there that are going to help you. One that's great for teachers is Teacher Assistant Pro. It's a new application that's out. It was just featured in USA Today. And it's going to help teachers stay organized, going to help them kind of track the patterns of their students and okay. quickly communicate with the parents. So most parents, you know, having that smartphone, they're going to be able to get that instant communication on how their child is doing. There's no missed messages, you know, through the mail right. or anything like that. And you know what I used to do when I was in school? My parents <laughs> would like slip that little letter inside my uh, mm -hmm. assignment book. <laughs> I would just you know, take it out and say they never got it or whatever. But this way, it got constant communication, which is so vital to keep oh, yeah. your student on, on that A honor roll. Um, what are some other apps we can use? So and then when you talk about students in general, taking notes is always you know that thing that we have to do. Mm -hmm. um, but Notable is a great application that's going to allow you to take notes on your Apple iPad Air or your Apple iPhone 5S or even an Android-powered device. You're going to be able to take those notes, have them everywhere with you. Because I think we all find that we have our phones and our tablets on us when we have downtime being able to review those notes then when you can, mm -hmm. or even if you have your kids in the car, hey, go ahead and start your homework. Now, really, really quick, I just wanted to touch on the Dropbox, which I think is the most important app because yeah. you can take it from your computer to your cell phone to another computer. Yep. So Dropbox makes everything really simple in terms of moving data from one device to another. So you can start something, save it on your cell phone, can pick it up on that iPad, and ultimately you could take it to a computer to print it off, and you can share files by using it. And it's a simple, free, downloadable app on mm -hmm. Android and iOS. I have it, and it is, you will get so much use out of it. Oh, well, thanks, Bridget, so much for those tips. And don't forget, if you missed them, you can check it out on our YouTube page. Just check out HQA.com. And she is not leaving us just yet. Well, cell phones are a huge part of our day-to-day -day lives, but when you get it for the first time, you can get a little crazy. So we need some guidelines to make sure we're abiding by the rules and we're keeping our kids safe. With us now is Bridget Pinson from U.S. Cellular with some tips. Now, what do we need to do when we're giving our kids a cell phone for the very first time? So super exciting time for kids, but mm -hmm. also maybe a nerve-wracking time for parents. So yes. U.S. Cellular has developed a child-parent agreement that you can actually customize depending on how you want your child to use your phone and really sit down and go over that with them prior to making that purchase. Now, once you've made the purchase, we also offer a family protector app that is available for download on all Android devices. The great thing about this app is it gives the parents the ability to kind of shut down some features on the phone, mm. check and see where their family member is. They can also, you know, shut like things down during peak time. So if they don't want them to be able to text or call during school, they can actually turn off features of the phone remotely. Mm -hmm. And I remember, um, you know, when I got my first cell phone, I was like 16 years old. You yeah. know, now it's kind of, you almost need them just in case of an emergency. Um, what are some other guidelines they could use? Yeah, so a recent U.S. Cellular survey actually learned, made us see that, you know, the average age right now is 13. It was 15 a couple years ago, mm -hmm. so it keeps going down. So it's all about really getting together with the parent and the child and making that agreement um, and really setting the phone up to do what you needed to do. There's restrictions within a phone, so if you want the phone just to have four numbers in it and those are the numbers they can call, that's an option. So you can really control what that child does on the phone, what apps they get, what can be downloaded, and what kind of sites they can visit. So kids, if you are watching, make sure you are on your best behavior because all your mom needs to do is get an app and she can shut down your texting, right? True story. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for coming on, Bridget. Now, for more of her tips, you can check out our website at khqa.com. You can also learn more about some back-to-school cell phone apps that you can use. We'll be back right after this at 652.